happy Thursday. Well, I'm in my new favorite room in the house, and that is Baby Boy's Nursery. I've been working on it for about a week and a half, and it's almost done, but I'm not going to show you anything but the wall today, so you're getting a little sneak peek of it. I'm going to do a before and after vlog when I'm completely done so you can see the finished product. But today I want to talk about one specific part of the room, and that is the wall of trees. I painted these trees, and I am not an amazing artist, and I want to show you how to do it. It's a great idea for a nursery, a kid's room. I even think it would look cool in a living room or a dining room. You could really make it work on any color too. The room was already painted light blue and then I decided to paint white trees. So come with me and I'll show you how I did it. Okay you guys, so as you can see, I have taped off the wall with my tree design. So first I used blue painter's tape and started from the baseboard all the way up to the ceiling just with a straight line. Then I actually just ripped pieces of the painter's tape in little strips and added them in on the sides to create the look of the notches in the tree. For the branches, I simply just did offshoot lines coming from my straight lines, and you can really do it at whatever angle. Next, I painted inside the lines, and I painted over the strips to make the wall notches the same color as the wall, so only the white paint was going to be what was on the base of the tree. One coat down on all the trees. I'm about to start my second coat. I then peeled off the tape after only my first coat because I wanted the second coat to kind of rough up the side edges so they weren't so perfectly straight. I did have to be careful when pulling off the strips because they were coated in paint. Sometimes the paint seeped under if I wasn't careful. Okay, so I've peeled the tape off and my three tree designs are in. So now I'm gonna add my second coat and kind of clean up all this stuff. Lastly, I added the branches just by freehand, just those last little bits, and I really just took my paintbrush straight out from the wall and second coated those two. The artiste at work looks so good, love. And there they are, the finished product. I just used a satin finish white interior paint that I picked up from my local hardware store. That's also where I got my paintbrush and the painter's tape. Good luck and happy painting! Well, I hope you guys found that helpful and somewhat interesting. I thought this was something fun. I'd never done a how-to video before, so let me know if you liked it and you want to see more. Leave your comments below. And I really appreciate you tuning in and watching this week. Have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next week! Bye.